The female reproductive system is a marvel of nature. This intricate system is responsible for sexual development, reproduction, and childbirth. Understanding how it works is key to a woman's overall health and well-being. From puberty to menopause, this system undergoes fascinating changes throughout a woman's life. Let's embark on a journey to explore this incredible part of the female body. We'll delve into its anatomy, its functions, and the amazing processes that unfold within it. Get ready to be amazed by the power and complexity of the female reproductive system. The female reproductive system has both external and internal parts. Let's begin with the external anatomy, the parts you can see. The vulva is the name for the external genitalia. It includes several structures that play important roles. The labia majora are the outer lips surrounding the vaginal opening. They provide protection for the more delicate structures inside. The labia minora are the smaller inner lips located within the labia majora. They are rich in blood vessels and nerves, making them highly sensitive. The clitoris, located at the top of the vulva, is a small, sensitive organ responsible for sexual pleasure. Just below the clitoris is the opening to the vagina. The urethra, which carries urine from the bladder, has a separate opening above the vaginal opening. In some women, a thin membrane called the hymen may partially cover the vaginal opening. Now let's journey inside to explore the internal organs. The vagina is a muscular canal that connects the external genitals to the uterus. It serves as the birth canal during childbirth and the passageway for menstrual flow. Located at the top of the vagina is the cervix, the narrow lower end of the uterus. The uterus, often called the womb, is a pear-shaped organ where a fertilized egg implants and grows. The fallopian tubes extend from the top of the uterus and act as pathways for eggs to travel from the ovaries to the uterus. Finally, the ovaries are two small, almond-shaped organs that produce eggs and the hormones estrogen and progesterone. Hormones act as chemical messengers, regulating various bodily functions. In the female reproductive system, hormones play a crucial role in sexual development, the menstrual cycle, and pregnancy. The ovaries are the primary producers of the female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen promotes the development of female sexual characteristics, such as breast growth and the regulation of the menstrual cycle. Progesterone prepares the uterus for pregnancy by thickening its lining and plays a vital role in maintaining a pregnancy if it occurs. These hormones work together in a delicate balance to ensure the proper functioning of the reproductive system. Understanding their roles is key to comprehending the complexities of women's health. The menstrual cycle is a series of natural changes that occur in a woman's body to prepare it for the possibility of pregnancy. This cycle is controlled by hormones and typically lasts about 28 days, although it can vary between women. The menstrual cycle has several phases, each marked by specific hormonal changes and events in the ovaries and uterus. The first day of bleeding is considered the start of a new menstrual cycle. Throughout the cycle, the lining of the uterus thickens in preparation for a fertilized egg. If fertilization doesn't occur, the lining sheds, resulting in menstrual bleeding. This cycle repeats throughout a woman's reproductive years, from puberty to menopause. The menstrual cycle is divided into three main phases, follicular, ovulatory, and luteal. The follicular phase starts on the first day of menstruation and lasts until ovulation. During this phase, the pituitary gland in the brain releases follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, which stimulates the growth of follicles in the ovaries. The ovulatory phase is characterized by a surge in luteinizing hormone, or LH, which triggers the release of a mature egg from an ovary. This usually occurs around day 14 of a 28-day cycle. The luteal phase follows ovulation and lasts until the start of the next menstrual period. During this phase, the ruptured follicle, now called the corpus luteum, secretes progesterone, preparing the uterus for a possible pregnancy. A woman is born with all the eggs she will ever have, unlike men who continuously produce sperm throughout their lives. At birth, a baby girl has millions of immature eggs stored in her ovaries. These eggs remain dormant until puberty when hormonal changes signal the start of the menstrual cycle. Each month during the follicular phase, several follicles begin to mature, but typically only one dominant follicle releases an egg. 
the remaining follicles are reabsorbed by the body. This process continues throughout a woman's reproductive years until menopause, when the ovaries stop releasing eggs and menstruation ceases. Section 8. Hormone Harmony, Estrogen and Progesterone Estrogen and progesterone are the two primary female sex hormones, and they play vital roles throughout the menstrual cycle. Estrogen levels rise during the follicular phase, stimulating the growth of the uterine lining and preparing the body for ovulation. After ovulation, progesterone takes center stage. Progesterone is crucial for thickening the uterine lining, making it receptive to a fertilized egg. If fertilization doesn't occur, progesterone levels drop, signaling the body to shed the uterine lining, resulting in menstruation. The intricate interplay of estrogen and progesterone ensures the proper functioning of the reproductive system and regulates the menstrual cycle. Section 9, Fertilization, Creating a New Life Fertilization is the process where a sperm cell successfully fuses with an egg, leading to the creation of a new life. During sexual intercourse, millions of sperm are released into the vagina. The sperm travel through the cervix and uterus making their way to the fallopian tubes, where fertilization typically occurs. If a sperm penetrates the egg's outer layer, fertilization occurs, and the egg is considered fertilized. The fertilized egg, now called a zygote, begins to divide rapidly as it travels down the fallopian tube toward the uterus. Upon reaching the uterus, the zygote implants itself into the thickened uterine lining, marking the beginning of pregnancy. And Section 10, The Gift of Life, Pregnancy and Beyond. Pregnancy is a remarkable journey that transforms a woman's body as it nurtures and grows a new life. Once the fertilized egg implants in the uterus, the body undergoes significant hormonal changes to support the developing fetus. The placenta, an organ that develops during pregnancy, provides oxygen and nutrients to the fetus and removes waste products. Over the course of approximately 40 weeks, the fetus grows and develops inside the womb, preparing for life outside the mother's body. Childbirth, the culmination of pregnancy, is a powerful and awe-inspiring event. Understanding the complexities of pregnancy and childbirth is essential for women and their partners as they embark on this incredible journey. Section 11. Understanding your body. Knowledge is power. The female reproductive system is a complex and fascinating part of the body. From puberty to menopause and beyond, it undergoes incredible transformations, playing a central role in a woman's overall health and well-being. By understanding its anatomy, functions, and the interplay of hormones, women can make informed decisions about their reproductive health. Knowledge is power, and empowering women with knowledge about their bodies is crucial for promoting self-care, early detection of potential issues, and seeking timely medical advice when needed. Remember, your body is amazing, and understanding it is the first step toward a healthier and more empowered you.